program is brought to you by Emory University. Um, you have a lecture coming up um, a week from Sunday mm. on the autobiography and the novel. Mm. Um, and many of the things that we've talked about today relate to both autobiography and the novel, but I'm wondering if there's any kind of um, um, glimpse that we can have ahead of what you're thinking. Well, it's only, it's only this, that it, it very simply, and I don't want to, you know, I'm going to give that lecture, so let me not give it today. Just the today. trailer. But just that it used to be the case that a writer's life story and life circumstances were irrelevant to how you looked at the work. Mm -hmm. You know, um, I mean, if we're talking about Shakespeare, for example, who cares about Shakespeare's life? We don't, we don't feel we need to know about Shakespeare's life in order to experience those extraordinary right. <coughs> pieces of work. Although there are a lot of books written about his yeah, life. Yeah, but you know, frankly, who cares? Right. You know? <laughs> um, the, there is a whole English department out the window. <laughs> um, um, I mean, there's, you know, it's, it's interesting as gossip, you know, but does it really help us to understand Hamlet that we know I mean, what did Shakespeare mean about leaving his wife his second best bed? You know, I mean, it's just, it, it's true, it's a kind of weird remark as the opening sentence of, my, of a will to my wife Anne, I leave my second best bed. Um, but, <laughs> <laughs> um, but does it tell us much about the plays? It may tell us something about him. Right. But, so and what I'm saying is that until relatively recently, writers were less important than their work. The, the work was, was interpreted it's in itself. You know? and, and we've gone from that, if you like, from that end of the pendulum to the other swing of the pendulum where we now seem to believe that the only way to understand um, a, a text is by understanding the writer's life. Um, and this kind of biographical obsession mm -hmm. that has grown up now is as I say, I'm not saying it's not interesting. Mm -hmm. It's interesting. Um, but th there's something wrong with it, I think. You know? um, and so I'm going to talk about that. Okay.